In the 9th century, while Europe struggled in its early medieval age, a quiet scholar from Haran began rewriting the foundations of science. His name was Thabit ibn Qurra, and history barely mentions him. Even though he saved Greek science, transformed mathematics, and shaped astronomy in ways the world still uses today. Thabit wasn't just a translator. He wasn't just copying ancient knowledge like many imagined. He was the man who looked at the works of Archimedes, Euclid, and Ptolemy, the giants of ancient history, and said, this is wrong, and I can fix it. And he did. Thabit corrected astronomical errors that had existed for over a thousand years. He discovered why the length of a solar year changes. He refined the constants used by Al-Batani and later by Al-Tusi. His astronomical work would eventually influence Copernicus indirectly through the Moraga school centuries later. But mathematics is where his genius truly exploded. Thabit introduced formulas that modern number theory still uses today, including the Thabit numbers, which helped generate amicable numbers, pairs of numbers that fascinated mathematicians from the Middle Ages to Euler himself. For over 800 years, no one could improve on Thabit's method. His work was that strong. He also expanded Euclidean geometry, invented new proofs, and contributed to what would later become integral calculus. He solved problems of volume and area using methods astonishingly close to what Newton and Leibniz formalized centuries later, and he didn't stop there. Thabit studied mechanics, explaining the conditions for static equilibrium, essentially building early foundations for what would one day become physics. He improved the theory of ratios and created the groundwork for algebraic geometry. He even rewrote parts of Ptolemy's Almagest because he realized the original work contained mathematical mistakes. Imagine the level of confidence and brilliance required to correct the most respected astronomer of the ancient world. But why don't we hear his name today? Because Thabit's books were never translated into Latin on any meaningful scale. Europe inherited Euclid and Archimedes, but they missed the man who perfected them. So his genius stayed in Arabic manuscripts. His formulas stayed in scientific circles of Baghdad and the Islamic Golden Age. And the world moved forward without mentioning the man who repaired ancient science. Thabit ibn Qurra didn't seek fame. He sought truth. He built bridges between cultures, improved the very mathematics the world still uses, and preserved the legacy of ancient knowledge by making it stronger. He is not just a forgotten genius. He is one of the most important mathematicians who ever lived. Follow Tactical Legends for the full deep dive episode coming soon.